I am Lucy Edwards, Director of Strategic Engagement at Metaport and VHT Studios. And today I'm at Douglas Salomon Dallas office and my guest is Kancho Menek. And Kancho, you are the Executive Director of Sales for Dallas and uh, Fort Worth, right? Yes, we call it all DFW and it's a giant metropolitan area and it's a wonderful place to be. Yeah, and everybody else wants to be here, so everyone is moving here. I think so. That was working <laughs> out well for us. And in the past, you have been through so many industries. You've been in entertainment, investment, real estate. Uh, great success, regardless what you touch. So why Douglas Salomon and um, just a few words about your previous life and what brought you this uh, successful story about, about you? There's a lot I could say there. I really grew up as a finance professional, a mergers and acquisition um, professional, and that really did that for most of my professional life. And luckily enough, that led to some president roles and some company leadership roles. So I became an operator. Uh, so I was lucky enough to be a specialist and become an operator in two different industries. And the final one was brokerage. I was an investor in a brokerage, finally got the opportunity to run that same brokerage and mm -hmm. we built it up and sold it uh, over a period of years. So um, that's sort of the short story about my history. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what attracted me to Element? I think first and foremost, culture. I could talk about that a lot and just about everything, but I met the Texas team when we were transacting our last brokerage and just fell in love with the people. And then I met the regional team, same story. And then some of the national guys, and I just, I just felt like these were my people, you know? And, and to me, when you enjoy that, it, it really just starts there. And, you know, as I got into it, you've got great people. Then Element has this, long demonstrable success, right? And they have, I think, all of the resources and capabilities that really any brokerage or many companies have. And so that just kind of came together with me in this idea of an opportunity to replicate it and build it in Texas. And so that's that's what we're doing here. We're still just a couple of years into Texas. Mm -hmm. And so you take the kind of the storied history of Element. And we have this opportunity to bring it to one of the best real estate markets in the U.S. It just seemed like a fun proposition. Meant to be. Yeah, to grow it here, for sure. And I understand, regardless how global the company is, for you it was very important to keep that Texas spirit, to be hot, you know, your heart is in Texas, and you are able to, uh, uh, to keep that Texas spirit within your team your, and uh, with, with your agents, with the leadership here? Yeah, you know, I think Texas is an entrepreneurial place and it's very business friendly. I've got to be careful what I say because I was born and raised, so I'm kind of a Texas homer. I do wear boots from time to time, but it's really here. I think it's a very friendly culture. Uh, I said entrepreneurial already, but it kind of comes together in, I think, a comfortable, collaborative culture that's very pro-business, right? And then we have all these things going for us macroeconomically mm -hmm. here. And so we're just in a really lucky spot. You are indeed. And your background in mergers and acquisitions, I can only see how big that office is going to be. So right now we are in the room that is being remodeled where I can't even imagine how many agents are going to be situated. That is fantastic. But um, I, I think there is a reason you are expanding your footprint over here in this building because I can see that uh, it, this office will grow tremendously and not just grow by hiring and uh, j getting some agents just to fill the, the desk and the space. I think it will be very successful. And with your leadership, you will be able to bring uh, Dallas office to another level. I hope so. 
we have all the things going for us externally, for sure, with this marketplace. And that's not to say that real estate doesn't have its tough spots these days, uh, but we have a lot going for us here. We have some incredible teams that are involved in real estate at all different levels from, you know, just uh, resale to working with developers to building their own product. Um, some of the most successful agents in the area. And I think we have it all going for us. And what, I, what I'm going to try to do is just keep coming to it with a, a 360 approach, sort of an understanding a little bit about what it takes to make a team from the multidisciplinary perspective, right? So HR, finance, strategy, et cetera, and bring that into the business planning for the agents. Mm -hmm. That's important. You know, and think about that and also for our office. So I think we, I think we've got a, a bright future I, I ahead think. of us. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to conquer here. This is a 9,300 square mile marketplace. <laughs> it's a massive economy in its own right. Well, it's an opportunity, and right? It is. Um, so I, I don't think we could be in a better position. You know, it's a, it's a great background environment. We have some wonderful agents and I just like what Elman's allowing me and, to bring to the business and what they bring to the business to, you know, have the highest average price point agents in the United States. Well, so you we are have. running it as your own business. So you're making decisions, you are uh, investing your energy and your heart into the office, into your agents and, and they feel it and they understand it and I'm sure they appreciate it. That's important. Well, I'm only as good as the people around me, though. And um, like I said at the beginning, Element has a great culture. I work with some people who've been in the industry a long time that are amazing people in their own right that put a very collaborative um, feeling out there. And so it's when you feel like you've got that kind of support and great people around you, it just it makes it easier. It makes it easier. What about the technology? Your, what about you, your agents, the company embracing the technology? Everything is changing so quickly. So if you are not on top of it like now and constantly, the constant education, you will be out of the game. So how does Elman and your office in particular embraces the technology? Well, I think you mentioned it. You said constant and that's the key, right? So you don't have to be a technologist per se, mm -hmm. but you can put yourself in an advantageous position by consistently exposing yourself to new technologies, right? So it's, I, I learned this, you know, through the evolution of my career in interacting with technology that things were happening so fast. And this was a decade or so ago. I, I just came to this realization that technology has to be in your regular workflow. And it doesn't mean you're a coder or something like that. You have to expose yourself to it and experiment with it. And it has to be, in my opinion, mm -hmm. at the top of the page with every other part of your company. So whether that's, again, HR, finance, sales, et cetera, it, it has to be in that mode of experimentation and just in your workflow. And you'll wind up getting more comfortable regardless of how technical you are. Mm -hmm. And you'll create relationships, you'll see new technologies, and then you'll just be an example, right? So I think that what the, how that translates to this office specifically in our agents is um, adoption. I think exposing yourself to tools and apps and new technologies is just a part of it. You need to do that all the time. We just did that today in our sales meeting. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, they'll become a comfort and a familiarity and they will adopt technology. So there's, there's so much out there, right? Especially with AI that these agents, it's, it is, it's almost like any other industry, but for us specifically, Adoption is the big innovation for technology to get them to use it and stay with it and plan embrace around it. it. And yeah, 
And then that brings me to support. Would you say, you know, culture, the word culture has been abused a little bit, but would you say part of the culture of Douglas Salomon is that it's all about the support for your agents, uh, not just um, physical support like you do have uh, some administrative assistance and so on, but like marketing department, for example, that is very creative. Your IT department, uh, that if something goes wrong, they can help. Mm -hmm. Would you say support is part of the culture of Douglas Elliman? Let's talk about your office in Dallas. For sure it is. And I would summarize that by saying, I, I think we're in we're agent first brokerage and not a brokerage first brokerage. Okay. And I, I think that comes out in, um, I think the support here starts with learning and having a learning mindset. There's so many opportunities at Element to uh, learn and interact with people across the country. And so that becomes this very collaborative teaching kind of culture. And um, so I, I think it, it starts there. And then we do on, you know, to bring it a little more closer to the ground with support, put in those roles. And they have to want to do it. They have to want to help other people and have that feeling like they've got something to give. And I would say of all the brokerage companies and models that I've been exposed to, we, I think we have some of the best. Oh, you do indeed. Uh, I was talking to one of your agents and she said that she needed help from marketing department and uh, your marketing manager was on maternity leave, but she was working from home helping her to prepare for a listing presentation, which she got. So here we go. That is team effort. You know, everyone owns what they do and yeah. uh, they are proud of it. And I think that's a, that's a great value. And it's not just that we work 24 hours a day, no, seven days not. a week. I you hope know, not. <laughs> you know, I think, but we do come at it with a lot of positive energy because we like what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And if we're bound with, um, it, if we're bound in the same culture, then everyone's going to be doing the same thing, regardless of uh, we're talking about it or not, if we're on maternity leave or we're disconnected for a day, we're we're going to basically be doing the same things and treating people uh, like we treat our clients. Yeah. You know? And speaking of clients, it is very important that the final consumer is happy. So you are doing everything possible that's in your power to make sure that your agents uh, are supported, they're happy, they're knowledgeable, so the final consumer uh, is uh, satisfied. Would you say the technology uh, also changed the consumer? Are they more demanding? what they're going to have, they're more educated, uh, how they want their property to be marketed, uh, what about you know how their agent is uh, well-educated. Do you think it's important? Um, you know, I think, of course, well, of course it is, you know, and, and technology is, is playing a role in that for sure. And I think a, a couple things, one is it's gotten easier, you know, it's, the interface with technology, sort of the UX of it, is gotten better, right? So it's it's easier for clients and us on the service provider side to not only interact with our technologies, but to share them together, mm -hmm. right? So they can look at homes together, they can rate them, they can bring in other technologies with single sign-on and kind of weave all of that together. It's just gotten easier and so it just becomes part of the, the workflow, you know? And so I think that does come with some expectation too, because you're gonna be market, expected to market digitally in all kinds of formats, social media, mm -hmm. PR, you're gonna be expected to do a lot of different things, right? And, um, and now it's turning to AI, right? And so the customer may not, see the inner workings of that, but it's going to raise the expectation level of what an agent can do. Uh, yeah, and like being part of uh, Metaport, we are <clears throat> basically an AI company. So we, uh, we are investing so much energy in making sure that everything is doing 
uh, doing the whole tour by yourself. So that is, uh, that is important. I would like to ask you about the future agent and the agent. What would you wish to an agent who is uh, uh, looking forward to joining Douglas Solomon? What's, what's your expectation of the new agent? Well, they all have different uh, specialties and ways they want to work. So there's a lot of differences there in product type and geography and farm and ranch and, you know, but I, I think that the, to bring it together to a point of, you know, what we would expect of an agent is just to treat it like any other business, you know, come to it every day. Um, that helps with consistency. It helps build trust when you're, you know, when you're approaching it every single day, like it's a business that needs touches every day and um, be very patient and thoughtful with it to the point uh, where you need, you need to build a plan, right? So we, you know, we're trying to be that example for them, but I think the, the best agents will, uh, lay out a plan, not unlike any other business with their revenues, where they're going to get them and, and expenses and just the whole thing, if that makes sense. Right. And so it's not just get a license and go sell homes. Where are they going to come from? What kind of money are you going to make from those? A business and plan. Yeah, exactly. Treat it as a business. Mm -hmm. Treat it as the business it, that you own. It's easier said than done. Right. But I, think, <laughs> I think it just starts with consistency. Consistency. Right. And that's, and I think, from the operations perspective, when you're running the brokerage, it's the same example that we're trying to lead. We're coming to it every day and uh, the agents know we're there. They, they begin to trust us when they interact with us and, and see how easy it is and how much we really care about them. And it's the example that we want them to show their clients. It's the same thing. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time. I'm looking Anytime. forward to your a uh, new office being opened. I am invited. Uh, <laughs> would For love sure to come to the grand opening. Um, no, wish all the best to you, your Thank agents you. and your staff. And um, uh, yeah, great success. Same to you guys. Thanks for spending the time. It was great. Cheers, everybody.